Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the frame divider, which is a comic making tool in Abyss Paint X. This is really, really easy and it lets you sort out frames and panels for comics. What you're going to want to do is get the layer that you want to have the comic laid out on, which in my opinion should be something that you have to sketch underneath. And then you're going to want to look on your sidebar here, you'll see there's a bunch of different options, transform magic wand and all that. But there's also frame divider down here, and that's the one you're going to want to click on. To actually add a frame in, you're first going to need to make an outside border, which it shows you how to do. Just click anywhere and it'll say add frame. Where you click doesn't matter because it will always show this. Firstly, you're shown a menu here where you can change the border color. I'm going to change it to a blue. And then here you have two options. You can change how close it is to the center and how squished down it is. These just squish it and pull it in two different ways. I personally don't mind leaving it as it was originally, but you can mess around with it if you want. Then there's the frame thickness, which is pretty self-explanatory. I like to put it up a little bit and then click tick. Then to actually add a frame divider, which is what separates out the panels, you're going to want to stay on this setting right here. You can also select, which just means being able to edit these frames right here, as you can see. It means that you can just sort of do what you originally did and you can edit with them on any point that it brings up. And you can also move it around, which I think is really neat. But anyway, back to the frame divider. Once you're on this, it essentially means wherever you go across with your finger or stylus, there will be a split. So for example, if I went straight across here, then it would split there. And then if I wanted to further split it, I could go right here and then these would be split into different panels. Of course, you can be more creative and go across diagonally or make more interesting shapes instead of just being squares. They can be as thick or as thin as you want, and I think it's really, really neat to play around with. The frame divider is a very interesting tool because you can format your comics however you want, and you can also use these for other drawings. Overall, it's just really, really neat and there's a bunch of stuff that you can do. The only way to really take that apart is to just press the back button. Otherwise, you can't erase the lines that you have done. Again, you should feel free to do whatever you want with this. There's so many ways to customize it and so many different formats you could make for doing comics. And I think it's really, really interesting personally. All in all, it's a great feature. And once you're done with this, you can just click to any other tool, but you cannot do anything else on the frame layer tools. Then after that, I think it's always really good to do your comic drawing underneath it so that it's underneath the frames and nothing will go over. Sort of like that, for example. If you look here when you go into the layers as well, you'll see that there's a little icon right there which shows that it is indeed a frame layer. Thank you very much for watching. That was how to use the frame divider in Abyss Paint X. I hope that you enjoyed and if you did, maybe consider supporting. Bye!